Welcome Capricorns and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Monday the 8th of November through to Sunday the 14th of November 2021. I'm fully aware by the time I do publish uh, this video, particularly for those of you that are in the UK, it will have clicked over to Tuesday. Nevertheless, it's still a full week. Uh, so we're just going to crack on, okay, Capricorns? So on the left-hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right-hand side will be your crowning wisdom message cards. So let's uh, jump forward. Um, and have a look and see what your overarching crowning message is for the week ahead. So Capricorns, whilst I was meditating for your um, weekly reading, uh, the channeled message that I got was for you guys to um, uh, stay on course on something. So uh, it feels as if you're being guided if you're pursuing somebody or you want to move things to the next level, or you want to reconcile with somebody, I feel that you're being guided to stand your ground, basically. Don't give up. Um, keep yourself grounded, though. Um, many of you may need to go into some meditation or some uh, prayer and fasting, because there is change that is coming about. Uh, and I feel that you almost need to recharge yourself to be ready for that change. Whoever you are connecting with, uh, Capricorns, I feel as if they do want to come in and they want to clear something up with you. Uh, it almost feels as if they want a new beginning. They want to offer that olive branch um, because I feel like they the disconnect between the two of you, They it feels like they want to give to the connection now, okay? It's like they're missing you, all right? So let's... Um, Let's see. Let's get into more some, some more detail. My angels and spirit guides of woo. Okay, that all wanted to come out. So this card came out first. Uh, look at that. Be spontaneous. So I feel as if uh, uh, <coughs> uh, Capricorns. Uh, for many of you, in a way. Oh, there's three. Dreaming and acceptance. Okay, cool. All right. So I feel that um, this spontaneous or this spontaneity, it could be either you or your person. I feel as if um, uh, you're being guided to kind of step out. I feel like it's your person to step out of their comfort zone because it feels like they do want to come towards you um, to offer an olive branch to offer a new beginning i feel like there's a lot of passion between the two of you um and there's a there's a massive disconnect um and i almost feel as if in this kind of uh disconnect they have uh almost kind of become quite comfortable in their own skin um but do you know something they may be comfortable but i feel that the two of you <coughs> are wishing hoping dreaming about each other for absolute certain and there's an element of acceptance an acceptance that whatever has gone on between the two of you it's kind of not working for either of you it's almost like um you're being guided that whatever change that needs to happen it no longer fits you a lot of the, the zodiac signs seem to be coming up with this change this kind of element of uh, something doesn't fit anymore uh, something that you've outgrown um, and this change is coming about to turn that on its head basically but I feel as if it could be you it could be your person uh, to be spontaneous and to come out of that uh, like comfort that kind of comfort zone um and to approach you basically uh for you guys i feel clearly for you you're being guided to to, to stay the course to stay the course keep grounded uh, many of you are, are are being guided to meditate particularly if you've withdrawn from this person spiritually because i feel that they are changing they are changing to accept that actually they quite miss you it's all fair and well being on your own and creating quite a nice little world on your own but ultimately they're still dreaming about you wishing hoping dreaming i feel that both of you are OK, and I feel that um, you accept something needs to change. OK, and they accept that change needs to happen because it feels like they do miss you. It's like it's time. It feels like both of you are being guided to come out of uh, daydreaming about each other and actually take action and make this change. OK, let's have a look and see what your crowning 
wisdom message is my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me your crowning wisdom message to the question how does the soulmate of capricorn sun moon rising and venus feel thank you oh yeah look at that polite declaration um the green representing the heart chakra uh the blue eyes um almost feels as if they're seeing somebody seeing um through their third eye chakra but it's coming out blue so they're seeing that they need to speak somebody needs to speak and the red uh, that foundation it says you can move in whatever direction you need to accomplish your goal it is time for you to get out there claim what is yours and stay in your power what did i say the two of you are the in a nutshell capricorn both of you are being guided to come out of the dream um daydreaming about each other and actually uh uh, 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 take, uh, go in a different direction, basically come out of your comfort zone, because both of you may be in this comfort zone, they certainly are, okay, but you know what, the channeled message of saying that you're missing each other, there is a massive disconnect, the two of you aren't together, whether or not this is an existing relationship, or whether or not it's an, a relationship that never quite took off, uh, you aren't talking, or you're not together, uh, you've gone one way, they've gone another way, but right at the center of your crowning messages, you're both daydreaming about each other, almost afraid to pick up that shell and call each other, pick up that calling, it's like you're dreaming about each other, and I feel that you're both at a point in this connection where politely it's time to declare for us to go in a different direction okay um so pretty uh clear cut i feel uh your channeled message clearly said that this person wants to come in and clear something up because i feel that they're accepting that they're missing you they don't particularly like being on their own i feel that they um are set accepting that they are thinking about you uh wishing hoping dreaming about you so do you know what it almost feels as if their spirit team is saying well do you know what go in a different direction you've got the power to do that listen to your heart speak your truth you are now seeing um, how much you miss this person, how much they miss you, how much you miss them. It's time for you both to speak your truth and go in a different direction. Okay, so Capricorns, if this message is resonating for you already, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, it really does help to push the video out to other Capricorns and it does enable you to get those uh, notifications of when I'm uploading new messages. But also as well, Capricorns, it does help to support the channel. So thank you in advance for your support and encouragement. Uh, existing um, uh, subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for all your support, encouragement and donations. It's really, really appreciated. And uh, uh, right now, I feel that... Um, yeah, I feel that many of you, uh, I, I hope that you guys will get something. I mean, and look at that, there's reconciliation, judgment coming out there. They're just showing to me. Um, so it feels as if one of you or both of you do want a reconciliation, um, wishing, dreaming about this reconciliation. And I feel that you're being guided basically to politely go in a different direction. Um with this connection because it feels like this person is missing you okay you're missing them wishing hoping dreaming about each other but it almost feels as if uh you you've both become quite content in your own little corner of the world it's time to break out of that okay um so i hope that you will get something useful out of this message all right let's get into your cards Let's get into your cards, Capricorns. All right, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmates of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? The week commencing Monday, the 8th of November, or technically uh, Tuesday, the 9th of November, until till to sunday the 14th of november 2021 what is their current energy spiritually emotionally mentally and physically towards capricorns that i'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all as above so below and all around me thank you 
it may also this may also be giving you uh the wisdom as well capricorn that whoever you are connecting with they're politely going in a different direction or they politely want to go into another direction but do you know what but i feel both of you are wishing dreaming about each other and accepting that you miss each other basically okay capricorns any of the cards that jumped out in your pre-shuffle whilst meditating for this reading if they come out on camera i will call them out for you first card out oh okay so we've got the six of um the six of coins so i feel as if there was something that was very very unbalanced okay um something unbalanced in this connection okay either this person is giving up um giving to this connection in some shape form or another i mean technically um the six of pentacles in reverse is somebody that's being either judgmental okay or for some of you might be even being a bit cruel so technically the card means selfishness greed cruelty judgment OK, um, and I feel that this person is thinking about that either in the way that they have been to you or you have been to them. But it feels as if um, they they basically. Um, yeah, that it's like they don't want to give to the connection. Thank you. Oh, OK. I feel that this person is going through some sort. They're really disappointed it almost feels as if they're really disappointed how this connection has panned out and it feels as if they're accept accepting that they are still thinking about you um and it's and also accepting that some something's got to change because look at that we've got the world card and i saw change but both of you are spiritually still with the hangman you're both stagnant still almost observing what the other is what the other one's going to do first and I feel uh, Capricorn definitely with the world card. You definitely want um, change. You want change. There's something that you see um, with your third eye, something a, a lot greater, a lot bigger uh, than the two of you. You see some, you see this connection from a different perspective, definitely. Um, and I feel that you do want to speak your truth. And I feel that you're being guided to go in a different direction. Um, if you want change, I feel that you're being guided to evoke that change. Okay. And because you're, you're thinking about this person, they're thinking about you, but it feels as if it's not very, um, not very positive thoughts, put it that way. It's not very positive thoughts. So maybe the change, um, you remember the channeled message was that keep yourself grounded. Maybe some of you need to um, recharge, regenerate yourself. Because change is coming and we saw that in the channeled message and it's coming on your side. So maybe you want to go in a direction to this person, but this person wants to go in the opposite direction to you. But this be spontaneous. I feel that both of you are being guided to break out of whatever it is that you are like almost retreating from. But notice these two cups here. The connection is protected. Okay. Okay. The sun is 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 shining out on those two cups. So the connection is protected. And I feel that you're being guided to accept that. Hmm. Let's continue. You guys also could be in different locations. Some of you, different countries, different cities, different towns. We've got Taurus, Leo, Scorpio and Aquarius popping up here. So any of those signs could be in your chart or in their chart. Oh, wow. You want a new beginning. You want a solid start that is... Um, solid grounded nurturing and a bonus card has come out yeah i feel that many of you are stagnant still not sure whether to communicate or not and we can see that because look at the shell it's down you know it's almost like this mermaid is wishing dreaming uh it's like you're both wishing dreaming to communicate with each other but nobody is nobody's actually making that move it feels like you're being illuminated to communicate with each other 
But this person is really heartbroken. Really heartbroken, really, really sad. Either they're sad because either they've been cruel to you or they know that they didn't give to this connection. It almost feels as if they're dreaming, wishing, hoping, dreaming that it could have been different. You want change. You want a new beginning. You want something that's solid, something that's nurturing, something that's balanced. And it like it's like both of you uh, are being guided to communicate, but both of you are stagnant. It's like, who's going to communicate first? You can move in whatever direction you need to accomplish your goals. It's time for you to get out there, claim what is yours and stay in your power. So it almost feels as if Capricorn, if you want this connection, I feel like as if you're being guided. You want this new beginning. You want change. I feel like you're being guided um, to go and get it. You know, come out of that comfort zone. Be spontaneous. Perhaps do something spontaneous because this person is definitely heartbroken, accepting that it kind of didn't work out or accepting uh, that. You know, they may have been a bit of a, a bit cruel, um, accepting that they didn't give to this connection, uh, almost kind of wishing, dreaming that it, it didn't pan out the way that it did pan out. Let's uh, clarify. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you clarify how does these soulmates of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday the 8th of November through to Sunday the 14th of November 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Capricorn that I'm allowed to see for their highest good? Thank you. Remember your channeled message as well. This person wants to come in and clear something up. Oh, okay. The three of... Um, the three of cups here. So it feels as if this person wants to kind of get to know you all over again, be around you, celebrate the connection. That's almost what they're dreaming about. But either they're disappointed in themselves with um, being cruel, maybe judging the situation. Or it could be that once you two, you did... Um, celebrate this connection it's like they're really disappointed that it didn't pan out i feel as if this person um it almost feels as if they are focusing on work this card wanted to come out oh wow okay so with the uh six of swords coming in here i feel like this person is interesting because their back is towards you so Technically, the Six of Swords means that moving out of choppy waters, going towards calmer waters, but their back is towards you. And they're, they're, they're going forward towards putting work, I feel, within themselves, like focusing on work. Almost trying to... Hmm... No more days. For some of you, this is just a side note. It almost feels as if this person is celebrating. Celebrating being unkind or cruel. They don't want to talk, but it's interesting because right at the center of the reading, it's like divine is trying to guide you both to talk, but you're spiritually still. They certainly don't want to talk. It's like they would rather stay in choppy waters with you. This person, I wonder if this sadness is not is probably not even to do with you. Or, do you know, another way that I could pick up this up is with this uh, three of um, cups here. There could be a third party in this connection and they want to put the work in with that. Don't or They almost don't even want to talk to you. But I feel there is an element of them, them being quite sad, quite heartbroken. 
accepting that it didn't really work out and it's like they don't their back is towards going towards you wanting peace they they just don't even want to talk but you've got the eight of wands here it's like you're both being guided to it's like a conversation between the two of you will illuminate something thank you oh gosh Oh, wow. Okay, so we've got the tower moment. So there definitely happened some sort of tower moment, either in this person's life or between the two of you. Well, there are two people falling from this tower. So whatever it is that is upsetting this person or they're disappointed about it, they certainly don't want to talk about it, but it created a tower moment between the two of you. I'm still not sure whether or not this heartache is to do with you, you know, because what is confusing me a little bit, uh, Capricorns, I'll be honest, is with this six of coins, this is somebody that is like almost kind of glad that they didn't give to the connection. It's almost like they're doing it out of spite, doing it out of spite and they're quite happy with that but it's it might be that they have uh there's something else that's upsetting them outside this connection because they don't want to talk i feel that they just want to put the work they want to focus on work hmm, let's continue my angels and spirit guides of the divine very peculiar message here um my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you clarify how does the soulmates of capricorn sun moon rising and venus it's almost like this person is not even taking responsibility for the tower moment that happens between the two of you it they're upset or they know that you are upset and it's like they're not taking responsibility for it so it could be that you are upset because you want change, right? You want change. You want a new beginning. You want something that's solid. But it feels that it, it's this card, this three of cups, that's really confusing for me. For that to be clarifying the six of coins in reverse, which is basically somebody being unkind, cruel. And they're celebrating it. That don't make no sense. And I feel that they're focusing on the work, on their work. Oh God, do you know what? It almost feels like this person is just dreaming up ways that they can just hurt you even more. But their back is definitely towards, it's like they would rather be in rocky waters with you. They would rather be in rough waters. They don't want peace. They don't want to talk. God. All my days. But they do want to clear something up. They want to come in with the, oh my God, this is your twin flame. Male or female, you're dealing with the twin flame. You also could be dealing with the Gemini or you could have Gemini in your chart. But notice in this particular deck, Notice how one person is reaching out and the other person isn't. Now, normally the lover's card, when it comes in, in most traditional um, tarots, you see these two people holding hands. In this card, there's the disconnect. That's the disconnect that we saw in the channeled message. That's the disconnect. So many of you may actually really be genuine. If this person knows that you are their twin flame, by the way. They know that you are their twin flame, but they're being still. It's like almost like they accept that you are their twin flame, but they're not doing anything about it. It's almost like they're reveling in 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 um this tower, in this heartbreak, this disappointment. It's two things. Either they're really disappointed it didn't work out the way that it that they had hoped it would, okay? Um or they know that you are hurting and they're just reveling in it, basically. A bit of a narcissistic um, kind of energy for some of you, not for all of you, okay? But uh, this is really interesting because it's almost like, uh, it's almost like 
somebody is reaching out but the other one is still stagnant which is that hangman because normally the lover's card comes in, in 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 most tarot decks in certainly most of mine these two people are holding hands these two people aren't holding hands let's continue my angels and spirit guides of the divine tower moment between a twin flame connection and it feels as if they're not taking responsibility for it they'd rather stay in choppy waters angry and we've got the moon card in reverse so the moon card you could be dealing with pisces or a scorpio is coming up here you could be dealing with pisces or scorpio you could have pisces or scorpio in your chart um now uh, the moon card, the right way up, shows that something is being illuminated to you. Almost a transformation. This is being blocked. There's something that you're not seeing. <coughs> There's something that you're not seeing, um, Capricorns. It almost feels as if you're not seeing something. Um, unless... They're saying to us that um, with the eight of wands, maybe communication, maybe you should be still when it comes to communication. Um, but with the moon card in reverse there, that's, that's quite interesting because it almost feels as if there's a block around transformation in some shape, form or another. It's almost as if... Um, there's a bit of fear. Fear that your twin flame doesn't see the connection. Fear that you don't know how communication is going to be received. And that's why you're being still. That's fear. It's like there's a block of the trans... Because the right way up, uh, the moon card represents coming out of fear, um, overcoming it, going through a transformation. With it in reverse, it's like you're still in fear, maybe consciously or subconsciously, which is why uh, you're, you're, you're still at the moment. Spiritually, you're still... You don't, you're not quite sure what to do. But you certainly do want change with the world card. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you um, clarify how does the soulmates, thank you. Okay, so the page of wands, you do want to reach out to this person. Swift communication in their direction, but many of you are fearing it. You almost want to um, uh, speak to this person, communicate this person to evoke some sort of change. But many of you are fearful of the communication. But it's almost like that is the communication that will illuminate. And that might be the spontaneous thing that you want to do. But it feels like communication will just fuel this person. Because they, they their back is towards the tower. It's like they're not accepting the disappointment. And it feels like you want to take action for them to, to acknowledge and to accept the disappointment. Oh, gosh. So many of you are really uncertain whether or not there's really going to be a new beginning with this person. You want a new beginning, but again, it's blocked. The change is blocked, and I feel it's because the two of you aren't talking. It almost feels as if you're being guided to have a heart-to-heart, -heart, be spontaneous and have a heart-to-heart. -heart. But do you know what? It's like this person, I, I, they, they don't want to talk. They're celebrating not giving to this connection. Almost dreaming up ways to create more cruelty. Crikey. I don't know. Oh, the, four, the five of uh, coins here. Many of you know that there is a disconnect. So this is definitely a broken connection. And I feel that many of you do want to give. You want to give to this 
connection. You want a new beginning that's solid. Now, interesting, look at this. You've got the five of coins and the one coin, that's six coins. Look at that. It's almost like you know that this person hasn't given to this connection equally. It's like this, you know that this person hasn't given this connection a chance. I feel that you're being guided to almost accept it. Maybe be spontaneous. Uh, but you see, the cards are saying that a communication... You're both spiritually still. You're both not, you're basically not talking. But I would say that they don't want to talk. You want to talk. Swift communication. There's a delay in a new beginning because the change hasn't happened. Disconnect. And with the five and the one um, uh, coin here, it's like it's like the you it's like you know that this person isn't giving to this connection and look at that the six of coins is in reverse they don't want to give to the connection is this sounds really off the chart and i kind of really hope that it's not resonating with a lot of you but it's like they're dreaming up more ways that they could be cruel unkind and celebrating it it's like this person I feel, do you know something, with that five of cups, I feel that there's something else that's gone on in their life that they don't want to talk about and it actually created a bit of a tower in their life. And it almost feels as if you are the, you, you, you've got the, um, what's the word? You've got the brunt of it, basically, in whatever they say or however they communicate to you. Or for some of you, uh, this person is just an absolute narcissist. They actually enjoy giving you pain, breaking your heart. They know that whatever is going on between the two of you is hurting you. They don't care. Thank you. Oh, wow. Look at this. The Ace of Cups in reverse. So I feel that, again, this is a block. This is a block of a new beginning. You're really uncertain. But what's really, this is what is really crazy, is that the hand from this person is coming towards you. Oh, I don't know. A Capricorn's really confusing message. It almost feels as if it's, it's, it's a really confusing message because on one hand, I feel that you haven't got a lot of faith. Um, with this disconnect and this person giving, working with you, basically, to have a new beginning, even if it's not a new beginning of a relationship, but to at least have peace. It's like you don't, it's like you feel like this person doesn't even want peace with you. But their hand is coming towards you with a cup of love. And look at that, three cups, one cup, that's four cups. So this person is thinking about you. Look, what did I say? Dreaming, wishing, hoping. If you, if you, um, uh, uh, to give you a, an idea, the four of cups is normally when you have that person that's looking up at that cup in the distance and you've got three cups down the bottom. Other people don't, um, uh, um, they're not you basically. They don't fulfill them. So they're thinking about you. One, two, three, four cups. So I feel that this person does think about you. They're definitely dreaming about you. It's like they want to come towards you, but they're just like, I don't know. They're not, basically. It's like, or that unless this person just wants to just go out and party. Just go out and party and just like to heck with it. And they may know that that will, that if you found that out, that that would hurt you. And it almost feels as if they're reveling in that. Thank you. Wow, this person walked away. And they are walking away from any kind of communication. Walking away from sadness. Walking away from disappointment. 
walking away from talking to you, walking away from accepting their part in that tower. This person don't want to talk, uh, Capricorns. Do you know something? Maybe you guys have been spontaneous or you're going to be spontaneous. And I feel almost like it's almost like that last bit of hope. That last bit of hope to to create some sort of change, to balance things out. Swift communication. That might be the spontaneous act that you're going to do, but it almost feels as if you're being accepted, being guided to accept this person doesn't want to talk. But this hand is confusing a little bit because that hand is definitely coming from their direction. So I would say this person has feelings for you. It's just that they... Are not accepting it basically walking away let's let's continue my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you clarify what a weird reading very mixed messages i'll be honest with you capricorns very mixed messages going on here but this side is just all oh, the energy is not not very nice and for some of you, if you are dealing with a narcissist, this person rebels in creating tower drama and then walking away. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you clarify the eight of wands for Capricorn, sun, moon, rising and Venus in love for the second week of November 2021. But I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all as above. So below, thank you. Well, do you know something? Capricorn, there's a bit of hope. Because the Wheel of Fortune, I feel as if is well, the Wheel of Fortune is gonna turn on your on your side eventually. Okay. And do you know something? What is really ironic about it, it's gonna be through a conversation. That is going to change um, something, change the dynamic, change the paradigm of this. But this feels like divine intervention. It's like I said, it's like divine is trying to uh, encourage the two of you to talk, but they don't want to. I would say you want to spontaneous. You may come in. You may be spontaneous and reach out to this person and speak to them. But just be prepared. Be prepared because they don't want to talk. Their back is towards you and they could get real nasty. And it almost feels as if they, either this person is going through um, some sort of heartbreak or some sort of loss or something outside this connection. And it's like they just can't deal with you right now because they're walking away. Or this person is a narcissist. They just enjoy creating heartbreak. Crikey. All right. Let me see what your advice is going to be, uh, Capricorns. Gosh. All right. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Thank you. Travel. Seeing the surface of the ocean is not the same as diving deep to see the coral. Okay, so you're being guided to travel a little bit deeper. Do you know something? There's something um, with this person on this or whoever you're connecting with. There's a lot more than meets the eye. It isn't as simple as them being cruel or unkind or not wanting to talk or um, being a bit of a narcissist. Uh, there's there's something deeper which tells me that this person has gone something through something outside of this connection that is actually really breaking their heart. And if that is the case, remember the two of you are a twin flame or they know that you are a twin flame. And that's why the connection is protected. Oh my God, look at that protection. Keep some... Uh, acrimony, ac 
aqua marine close mermaid's tears have been known to create these precious gems i feel that divine spirit universe is saying to you you know what don't worry this connection is protected it feels like this person is going through some shit But I feel that you're being guided to know that divine is turning the wheel in your favor. Change will come about. Many of you may actually be crying tears over this. It's like it's very painful. It's very painful. And it feels as if divine spirit universe is letting you know they're catching your tears. And that those tears are very precious to them. The wheel will turn in your favor when I couldn't tell you. I don't feel it's this week. I feel that this is m more in the future. But I feel that you're being guided to travel deeper. There's more than meets the eye with this person. Thank you. Rescue. Oh, my God. Help others in need or ask for assistance when you need it. Do you know what came to my mind straight away? It feels as if you are rescuing this person. But you may not see that yet. But in the process, I feel that you are hurting a lot and you're being guided. It almost feels as if release it, release it and let divine do what they've got to do. Because the wheel is going to turn in your favor when I don't know. But it feels as if um, it almost feels as if you have been brought into this person's life to rescue them. It feels like this person is on a down downward spiral, basically. Over either some sort of trauma outside of this connection. But right now, you're being guided that you need to look out for you. You need to rescue you because it feels like this person will pull you down. And voyage, set, wow, okay, yeah. Set sail on a new course. Yeah, so maybe you've got to go in. Maybe the direction you've got to go in is a, a completely different direction for a little while, Capricorns. While this person sorts their shit out, quite frankly. And the perseverance, I feel that you were getting, that I was getting in your channeled message, basically don't give up hope. It's just whatever is going on with this person, you almost need to let it right. You need to ride the storm with it. Just, it feels like just, just keep, just keep away. Go in a different, like politely decline right now. Politely decline and, and, and rescue yourself. Because this person will bring you down and I feel that your spirit team are saying um, that's what they don't want. But it's going to be a conversation that at the moment the two of you are spiritually still to have. Okay, you are fearful to have the conversation. They don't want the conversation, but it's going to be it's going to be a conversation that will rescue this uh, connection. But right now, you're being guided to go in a different direction. But remember that perseverance. Don't, um, uh, um, uh, what's the word? Um, keep grounded in your belief. Keep grounded in your belief that this person is significant in some shape, form or another. You could be dealing with a twin flame. They certainly see you as a twin flame. Whether or not you, I feel that you may doubt it. I feel that you're being guided to keep your vibration up. Let it go, let it go, let it go, release it. The change will come, but it feels like you're being guided to rescue yourself right now. Go in a different direction, otherwise this person's going to pull you down. They need to sort their shit out, to hand it over to divine, because divine spirit universe will turn it in your favour. Yeah. All right, I'm going to leave that there for you, Capricorns. If it does resonate, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye-bye.